Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode on all things Linux. Today, we are talking about the freshly released Fedora Linux 43, which dropped just yesterday on October 28th, 2025. This is the 43rd major version of one of the most innovative and community-driven Linux distributions out there. If you are into open source tech, Fedora has always been a go-to for its focus on cutting-edge features while staying stable and user-friendly. So let's break down what's new, why it matters, and how you can get started with it. First off, a quick shout out to Fedora community and the new project leader who is kicking off their tenure with this release. They have highlighted how this version builds on years of contributions. And it's clear a ton of work went into making it polished. Starting with the user facing highlights. If you're grabbing the Workstation Edition, which is the flagship for desktop users, you will be greeted by GNOME 49. This is a big step forward because GNOME is now exclusively using Wayland for graphics sessions. Wayland brings smoother performance, better security, and improved handling of modern hardware like high refresh rate displays and touch screens. The old X11 system has been deprecated by the GNOME team and it's set to be fully phased out in the next version. So this shift future proofs your setup. If you are coming from an older Fedora, you might notice things feel snappier, especially in multi-monitor setups or with apps that rely on graphics acceleration. But Fedora isn't just about GNOME. There are spins for other desktops, like KDE Plasma, which comes with the latest KDE 6.4 series for a highly customizable experience. If you prefer something lighter, check out options like XFCE, Cinnamon, or even Sway for tiling window manager fans. And for atomic desktops, which are immutable systems, great for reliability. You got Silverblue, Kinoite, Cosmic, Budgie, and more. These are perfect if you want a system that's hard to break and easy to roll back. One of the most noticeable changes for new installs is the updated Anaconda installer. Now featuring a web-based UI as the default across pins. It was introduced in Workstation last release but now it's standard for more variants. This makes setting up your system more intuitive with a clean interface for partitioning drives, selecting languages, and configuring users. If you're installing Fresh, expect a quicker and less intimidating process. Now, let's geek out on the under the hood upgrades. These are the ones that might not scream at you, but make a huge difference for developers servers, and power users. Fedora 43 ships with the Linux kernel 6.17, which means better support for the latest hardware, like newer AMD Ryzen chips and improved power management. Python users will love version 3.14, which brings performance boosts and new syntax features. The package manager gets a major bump too. RPM 6.0 introduces enhanced security, including the ability to sign packages with multiple keys. This is a smart move to prepare for upcoming quantum-resistant encryption standards, keeping your system secure in the long run. For those into containerized or cloud setups, Fedora Core OS has some exciting plumbing changes. It's now easier to build custom images just using Podman and a container file. No special tools needed. Plus, updates are now delivered solely as OCI images, ditching the old OS3 repo for a more streamlined, container-friendly approach. This makes it ideal for automated deployments in CI or CD pipelines or edge computing. Other tech goodies include an upgraded new toolchain with GCC 15.2 for compiling code faster and glibc 2.42 for better library performance. The DNF5 package manager powers the installer, 
making dependencies handling quicker. Overall, Fedora 43 feels like a refined evolution with tons of small improvements across apps, drivers, and system tools. If you're already on Fedora 42, upgrading is straightforward. Just open your software updater or run a few commands in the terminal. It's similar to applying regular updates, but give it a bit more time. For a clean start, head to the official Fedora site to download the ISOs for workstations, servers, cloud, IoT, or any spin. So here is a pro tip. If you're testing, try the live USB first to see how it runs on your hardware without committing. Community-wise, Fedora is all about collaboration. If you run into any hiccups, the Ask Fedora forum is a great spot for help. And they got a section for common issues specific to this release. Also, mark your calendars for the virtual release party on November 21st, 2025. It will be a fun way to hear from developers, see demos, and connect with other users. Keep an eye on the Fedora wiki for the schedule. In summary, Fedora Linux 43 is a strong update that balances innovation with reliability. Whether you are a desktop enthusiast, a developer tinkering with code, or someone managing servers, there's something here for you. It's free, open source, and backed by a vibrant community. What more could you ask for? If you are curious, download it today and let me know in the comments what you think. Have you tried Fedora before? What's your favorite features in this release? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. Subscribe for more Linux content. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay geeky.